everybody, it's Anna at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana, and welcome to our What's New at the Doodle Bug. So going on a few minutes late, you know, I do try to get on around four, but um, we just got in some great new orders. Actually, we got in so many orders today that um, I asked Leslie to come in like two hours early tomorrow, like early, early. Um, that way she can start on the orders. So there's going to be so much fun, good stuff to show you guys. And I know I did post on Facebook today um, how you want to learn about new stuff or just stuff in general. And one of you um, commented, and I totally get it, you know, maybe can't watch the whole live, so make them a little shorter. Oh, I'm going to try, but not anytime soon because we've got so much new stuff. I won't even show it what we got in today for like a week if I cut it short. And you know we'll have more stuff piling up. So a little bit of what's going on around here. We had two groups sign up for the April retreat. So that is awesome. So excited um, to see some of my girls back. I haven't been in a retreat for a while. No fear though. I mean, we're not even close to selling out. So don't, don't worry about that. If one, you just haven't decided yet, or it's just not the budget yet, not, a, you know, we're not even halfway full. So don't, I don't want that to scare you. I'm just excited about the groups that signed up. Um, other things, get me, you know, let me know if you're going to be a part of the card swap. That email went out today. This is last call to sign up for the card swap. I need those so I can let everybody know by Friday. So if you're wanting to do that, get that in as well. Um, there you go, Miss Emily. Um, lawn Fawn, new Lawn Fawn will be showing tomorrow. I did get a reorder though with that order. So we've got that as well. Um, yeah, so lots of great stuff. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, show you some fun, good stuff going on around here. Okay, so. I know um, she is working on, and she said, I'm running out of table space for, so we're gonna start with Scrapbook Customs. Scrapbook Customs is that company that a lot of you love because it's the hard to find stuff. So um, first we're gonna start with some custom schools. So this may not apply to most of you that aren't local, but this is one of our local schools, Southridge Raiders. That's where my kids go. So Raiders, you guys got a great new paper. And I love it because it doesn't say high school, doesn't say middle school. Shoot, I can use this. Oh, I think I might reuse this for my class reunion pictures. I don't know what to do with yet or just haven't had time because we are still Raiders. Even though we are 45-year-old Raiders, we are still Raiders. So this is a super good one for that. Then I loved the layout on that one. So Forest Park Rangers, you have got that same paper as well, but in your school colors. And it looks like, oh, okay, I'm in one of that one real quick. Flip it over. That's a whole kit. You don't have to take that out of the package. That, that stays there. Good deal. You can leave it open because I'll show in the pages. So that works perfect for me. So Forest Park, you've also got this cute one here that just came in. Now, while I am showing you these, because these are local schools, I have had moms recently and over the years, because we're, you know, we're in graduation mode. Can I get other schools? Of course I can. Here's the thing though. So you can see, I have to get a pretty good stack. I have to order these in 25s and I can't do any other um, print in there. It's 25 of the same print. So for a non-local school, you would have to take the whole pack, but you might be able to find some friends that'll share it with you. And I would be more than happy to get in your custom school as well. Then stripes. Stripes are something that's impossible just for basics to find right now. So we had some custom made. Here is a custom printed thin stripe in a navy. I know it's hard to tell the color on screen, but if I do this, there's black, that helps. So we just did a custom print on black stripes and then a bright red stripe. And I'm gonna hold it up to this Raider one so you can kind of see Raiders get printed in dark red and this is a bright red. So there are those there. I'm gonna work around the table here. That way Emily can fill up other spots if she needs them. Running. We just got in a new running paper, and I'm going to show you front and then back. Now watch when I do this. Hold on. Oh, shoot. I was thinking maybe I could do a... a okay. She thinks maybe there might be another one in here that goes with this one. Maybe not. Running isn't my, my best-selling sport. Go figure. Who likes to run? I did that for a while, and it hurts. So 
And people who are runners, I mean, I applaud you because you are crazy. Um, I never got one of those runner's highs that they talk about. But that is still a fun little one here. It may not even have a companion page. I don't remember. But anyway, this is still a cute on the back. And then on the front, here is football. So we're going to kind of scan over to football. Now, look at this. These are easy pages. You're just going to drop your pictures right in and you're done. So for those of you, um, I have a lot of moms that come in and they're like, I don't scrapbook, but they feel like they have to apologize when they come in. You don't have to apologize. I'm just glad you're in the store, honestly. But these are going to be great for even us moms that scrapbook because if you are a mom and you have kids in sports, you are also busy and you don't have time to do every little picture and page. So here you can see this one here, when we flip them over, we've got a great two page layout. But look, when I go back like this, that works as well. So maybe you have a bunch of pictures and just doing two on this side does not work for you or vice versa. Let's go this way. Look how cool that is. So then we can start it out with two and then maybe you just do, you know, a certificate or something over here, a big team picture over here, just different options for you. but. From two sheets, you've got all different kinds of layouts right there as well. Okay, so there's football. We're going to move on over to wrestling. Got a new wrestling paper. So we've got this one right here that says pin to win. And there's the back. These are fun for guys or girls wrestling because I like that it has kind of the neon on there. So it kind of makes it a little girlier, but not too much for my guys that wrestle. And then this one here is wrestling words over and over and the back you've got little wrestlers in their singlets so there's that one there for our sports section all right all those are done so if you need to stack them up you can no worries next is the gym i have a gym rat for sure so connor my oldest he is happiest at the gym and then when he's not at the gym he talks about being at the gym and he talks about how much he squats and how much he deadlifts and like like it means anything to any of us in the house but he's pretty proud of it so we've got um gym one here and then on the back is just some of the equipment so you can kind of see there so there's that one and gym stuff is really hard to find too all right, we're going to jump over here. Another custom one here. This is Holiday World. I have not had this one before. I did switch up my Holiday World paper. So it says Holiday World, Santa Claus, Indiana. Holiday World is in red and Santa Claus is in yellow. That's kind of their signature colors. Then we've got basketball next. This is a texture paper. It is flat, but it's certain you have to feel it. It's got... It's got so much um, shadowing that it does look like it's bumpy. So that's basketball texture. And then we've got basketball, these new ones here. These are called quick pages is what they're calling them. So this is the left one and the right one. And just like before, we can flip it over and you can do the same thing. So it's got the court on the back side. So there's quick pages for basketball, quick pages for baseball. See, isn't that fun? So I could do pictures of the boys here and I could do a team picture here. So you can flip those around. Softball, same thing. So it's gonna be the field on the back. So softball quick pages left and right. They also did more stickers too. We may do the stickers tomorrow just because they're not priced yet. We just finished receiving this order. That's why we're late. So here is soccer. So again, soccer quick pages. We can do the exact same thing with those. There we go. This is a restock. This is not a new one. Um, this is one for our Harry Potter section. You got it, Miss Debbie. Want two pages of all the basketball and baseball papers. You got it. So this is um, a restock for our Harry Potter section. And then on the back, it's got the platform nine and three quarters. So that's a fun one. 
Next up, we've got the His Birthday Collection Kit. This is one of my favorites because it is not childish. So if you have teenagers, you can use this because teenagers are God's way of making us become patient people. So if you are not a patient person, once you have a teenager, you certainly become one. Because they try your patience like crazy. And then they're just repeating. So this is a great set, again, because um, it's, it's not babyish. Good, just older boy colors. And then this last one is a cut-apart page. It's not a sticker sheet, but it's a cut-apart page. And again, just good colors. And I, I love the little happy birthday, handsome celebrating in style so this is his birthday is what this one's called and it's the collection kit so there's that one all right let's go over here we got paper we got paper everywhere okay next up this one is not a new one but boy it is one that oh starla i'm glad you love this or i remember um when you asked me if i had it coming because you saw it that's that's kind of how long this company takes because so much of it is custom printed. Um, and they're, they're a family run business. I love working with them. Um, going, we, we don't have trade shows anymore, but it's, you know, it's the, uh, the, it's a brother sister that works there. And then I think it's the brother's company and then like his family, his kids work there. It's, it's just great. I do like working with this company a lot. They're great to work with too. Um, this one here is called wine glasses. All right, so you've got all the swirl, smell, taste. So this is fun just for, you know, a girl's night out, going to the winery. Maybe you went to a wine fest and you're like me. You line up all your bottles of wine that you get and you take a picture of them. And there's some place you can scrap them now. This next one is a new one. It's called Hiking Addict. I have not had this one in before. So it's got hiking all over on one side. And then the little hiker on the other. I think that's stinking cute. This is one that I think we reorder every single time. You sure can, Rhonda. I am seeing yours. Diane, I see yours. Um, and we will get all these pulled. Um, Leslie will probably get them pulled tomorrow, or I will, and we'll tag you back. Got it. But thank you so much. This is a fun one. So this is like a bucket list. And this is called um, U.S. National Parks Adventure Awaits. But then you can, oh no, this isn't the bucket list one. Hold on, there is a bucket list. This is the different one. This one just shows all the additional, different national parks. Let me see all those there. Oklahoma, we need something for you. We need, we need, some, we need some parks out there. All right, fun one there. You got it, Diane. We'll get you down for national parks. That's a good one. Next one is Life is Better at the Cabin. And there's the back. So the back is just a good um, wood paper, too. That's a fun one. We have had this one before, but it's a neat one. And I know, like, for spring break, the boys and I and some of their friends, we are renting a cabin in Gatlinburg. So this will be really fun just to take a picture of the, the big cabin because, oh, my gosh, so many boys. Again, patience. I'm going to have either no patience left or so much patience after spring break. I'm, I'm not for sure, um, but I'm so excited. You've done all 50 states now, and you need to hit more parks. Oh, my gosh. So 50 states, that is my bucket list. Um, I, like, that is I, I want to do. And something, like, ugh, not just pass through, okay? I, I want to do something in every single state, and I'm so excited. Um, I, you know, it, you know, just kind of excited because next year with the boys, I might be able to travel a little bit more with them being in college. I don't know. But I have knocked off quite a few more states um, on my list just in the past couple years. So that's exciting. Mainly it's because of BJ and he travels for business and sometimes I get to go along. So, all right. This next one here is a cut apart for the Great Smoky Mountains. It's called their journal paper. I can get this in for other places, um, but the Smoky Mountains sells very well for us here because we're so close to them. A lot of us go to the Smoky Mountains. So it's just got great little cut aparts that you can do, but a lot of them will work for other things. Our trip was memorable, historical, hot, cold, rainy, sunny, relaxing, exhausting, fun, beautiful, wonderful, boring, unforgettable. Postcard. Um, now this one does have a little Great Smoky Mountains National Park. 
This one does too, but you could always cover some of those up. So this is nice if you want to use part of it for the Smoky Mountains, and then you have some left over. And then on the back, Smoky Mountains all over the back. Okay, next one is part of their newborn line. And some of them are definitely, you're going to see newborn, but not all of them. And some of these are new. So this one here, we have had before, and it's just so stinking cute. Every time I look at this, as I walk by it, it just, it makes me smile and kind of giggle a little bit. I love the hi, I'm new. And so you can do a little birth announcement here. That's a fun one. Our family, again, this is part of the baby watercolor, but this is not baby at all to me. This is a beautiful paper, so you can use this, and it's blank on the back, so you can use this for any family pictures. Next one is a newborn. I love that quote, the first day of your life was the best day of mine. Oh, that one gives me chills just a little bit, just a little bit there. Moving down, this one is a new one for me, Daddy and Me. And then Proud Grandparents. Those are both new ones. Next one, this is a new one for me as well. It's called a Military Service Collage. So you can see little things like duty, honor, service, military, United States, and on the back, oops, sorry. So there's, because they print in-house, their paper is a little glossier, just so you know. And then the back is stars. This one here is um, a restock. This is one I think I order almost every time because it has the military oath on there. I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the constitu Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will be true faith, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me according to the regulations of the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. This oath never expires. Is that not cool? I love, I love that. And it's got, got a little bit of the we the people. Oh, yes, another one would be your first touch. Yes, oh, I love that one too. That would be a good one. Um, you maybe need to see if I can work on some like little cutouts of that, Debbie. That's a great one. And there's the back of that one. So the back is just a good one as well too. I've seen a lot of people do like senior pictures with some neat stuff, so this would be cool. I know I've got a couple of the boys where there's an American flag in the background, so that would be a fun one for those. All right, let's see what else she's got laid out. All right, we're going to bump over here. Then we've got some school ones. Now, if you love these, we have others. So this should fill back in all of our schools, and I do two different styles of schools. Um, I do the ones that have this hello and then the grade, and then I've also got the ones that are called rulers. And I, I kind of switch it up each time um, just because these are the only two styles I can find. Um, so we got back in Hello College. This one is the, that's the only way it comes. And then this time I did Preschool Memories. And then on the back, Kindergarten Memories. There's your back. And Second Grade Memories. There's the back. And again, just because I did these, um, that means we already have um, first grade is on the shelf, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and then we do freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. So we've already got all of those in and in stock. Okay? All right, so there's the papers for Scrapbook Customs. I will show you stickers tomorrow. Um, so, like, for those of you that were loving the sports, there's new sports stickers, too. So we will get those in tomorrow's live. That way we're not on here for, for hours on end. Oh, and, 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 we had to restock. I was hoping this order would make it in um, before the retreat, and I think technically it did. We were just so busy. I didn't even see it in the pile, and I forgot that this paper was in there. So for my retreat girls, I apologize um, that I did not have this unpacked for you. But this one here is um, one of our doodlebug papers. We've got a couple of them that I keep stocked, and this one just says doodlebug, and it's got a little heart on there. So that is a very, very fun one that I have made for the store. I do one very similar for prom and date. I'm using that same style, and then I just switch up the wording on it because, again, it's my custom, my custom company, so I can get all different kinds of ones done. All right, so Lawn Fawn, we've got new Lawn Fawn to show you tomorrow, but in the meantime, I do have some reorders, friends. 
So the rose gold, it's shining. You can look, there I am. That's how shiny it is. Ooh, ooh. Um, so we got back in the rose gold. If I could like stick my tongue out, anybody need me? No, you can't because I'm behind my behind my camera. Can't do anything so cheeky. Um, this one here is their plaid stencil. It's a cute one. This was a special order. Um, so Dolly that teaches some classes, she's doing a make and take at one of the crops coming up in her area. And this is the stencil that she's going to be using. So if you love, love Dolly's style, be on the lookout for, I'm sure she'll send me some pictures of what she's doing with that one. Uh, this one here is an old one, but it's a good one. These little backdrop with the borders around it always goes so well. They've got a fall one, they've got a winter one, and so I brought back the spring one because we're going into that time of year. So I've seen this one done different ways. Um, one idea, cut it out in white, and then go back with your Copic colors and color it in. Cut it out in white with watercolor and then use your watercolors to color it in. So it gives you a totally different look. Um, you can print it out or cut it out when like a subtle print. That's really pretty as well. Or you can cut it out a couple times in some different colors and set the different colors back in. So kind of snip the little flowers apart and then layer it on. So I would probably, you know, cut one out maybe like a green because green is a pretty predominant one on here. And then maybe do pink, purple, and yellow. And then I could come through and just snip the tulip tops off and glue them on there. Snip, you know, the little yellow daisies off, glue them on top. So that's another way that you can use it as well. This is a really easy way to do a shaker card because you can put the acetate behind and then you can easily do a nice big square of foam adhesive around the sides and put your shaker in the whole thing. So that's definitely a really fun, fun background die. This one here is an oldie and a goodie. Um, as Lawn Fawn continues to come out with more and more stuff, friends, I, you know, I can't be a Lawn Fawn store. I would love to be a Lawn Fawn store, but as you know, there's so many other great companies as well. So a lot comes after a line. When it, a new line um, is done and released, the best sellers I'll keep in, and then I'll do the rest as reorders. But this nice, big, happy birthday um, is one that we do try to keep in at all times because it's just good. Back in stock for this time of year with it getting close to St. Patrick's Day. We got back in their Lucky Clovers. This one here was from the Valentine's Day line. We have the dies still on the shelf. So we got in another, another stamp set. And then if you like these little beavers, here's the little ones too. I just love that. I love you so damn much. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I squeeze, squeeze my voice and I say that. Oh, I just love you so damn much. As I do, I just like, you know, have you ever had something, you know, you say you just like want to squeeze it so hard and, and almost like you pop it, you know, but you don't want to pop it. You know, that's kind of how I feel about my boys. I just want to squeeze them so hard. All right, this one here, this was a special order. So I ordered two because it is a cute one. I've got a, um, a sample on the shelf that I'll show you too, but that's a fun little one. It's just called year nine. So every year they come out with um, a little one, and that's what they call it, kind of as their anniversary. So if you search for taco, you know, it might come up because it may be a description that's in there. But this is their year nine. I love it. Just let's talk about your birthday or let's talk about it. And then there's the little die. Restock on this one. This is just a good one. This is the absolutely awesome stamp and die. This is also part of that apple series that they did. This is the build a barrel with an apple. Uh, let's see here. This one here was a new one from the winter line, Snowing Like You. We had the dye left over all by itself, so we had to get that one back in. And then this little winter otter. I'm gonna show you the other part of that. We're gonna walk over to the lawn fawn wall and we're gonna check out that little taco part if I can find it quickly too. So here's our lawn fawn section. We haven't been in so it's pretty long the way it is um, and we've got Valentine's still up front so that's why I said it, it's just ooh, it's a big section the way it is um let's see here I'm looking for that little guy uh, oh here's the otter that's what matches that die the little winter otter he was missing his die so we got those back in and then I gotta find my taco so we've got all these samples up there 
and the samples are kind of a catch-22 um, because I don't have everything in at, at the time for the samples because we have so many but why would I hide these beautiful samples because we can always get stuff back in Lawn Fawn really does not um, discontinue a lot of stuff which is nice because you know and if you're a Lawn Fawn fan you know that they support like a lot of times oh makes you crazy I know because then you gotta buy something else to go with it because they do a really good job bringing back old stuff and using it with a current release like this next release um, they are using an old sewing machine stamp and die set stinking cute I think it's even called so cute okay okay next creative scrapbooker came in today so this is, let's see here, 145 pages of fun, fun stuff. I do really like this publication. It's not one of the free ones we give away. Oh, is that? It's not, but oh my gosh, for those of you that um, just bought that Spellbinders umbrella die, would that not be a really cute page? I love that. But they do really good up-to-date techniques. Sometimes the paper can be a little dated in it, but let's be honest, by the time one, we use paper in our stash, and then it gets submitted, goes to publication, that process does take a while. But there's great stuff in here. Okay, so that is the um, the spring one we just got in. So creative scrapbookers are in. So if you need one of those, let me know. Here are some restocks back in stock. So this one sold out right away. I think one made it into the last Facebook Live. And this is the Spiral Circle from Pink Fresh, brand new release one. Uh, this one here is called Brighter Days. We do have the dye and stencils that matches this. Thank you very much. Yeah, and, um, this one here is Celebrate. This one is the one that Dolly just used in her class. So we've got the dies in. We've got the stencil in. And I think that the stamp and washi should be coming probably in one of our next orders. So that is in. Oh, no, here we go. Here's the washi. So we're just waiting on the stamp then. So there's the washi for the Celebrate. Next up, so this came in as a special order. Spiral Circle, you've got it, Miss Audrey. So this came in as a special order, but know that I can get these in for you too. So a lot of times I will do a little bit of the project life or the little drop-ins for things that I have a lot of pictures of and things I don't want to, you know, scrapbook every single picture. And I know a lot of you do the same thing or you just need little journaling squares. So we can get these in in four by six and also three by fours. These are cool because, I don't know if you can see that, but they have horizontal and vertical in here as well. And I find a lot of times I pull these out, you know, I'll even cut it in half, kind of be a little pull out on my pages, but I've had one pack for only a couple years now because you get a hundred in there. So it's a great deal. You've got a hundred for nine bucks for those cards and again they're printed front and back and you've got vertical and horizontal in here too we can do four by six or three by fours pull those aside because i know a couple of those one is for sure and there's audrey's going for her uh this little guy here had quite a few people coming in wanting some journals and hard bound journals so i just brought this in to put on the shelf but I want to open it for you guys because if I'm buying a journal, I want to see what the paper looks like in there, don't you? All right, so let's see if I can get this open. Oh, it feels. Oh, it feels almost kind of suede-ish. That's cool. It's like worse than, you know, going to a birthday party. Watching the person just, you know, sit there and open their gifts. It's taking me forever. Rip it open. Let's see here. Usually I'm like a one-handed wonder here, but this one's not working for me. Emily, I need help. 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 
Oh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna call her back here. I'm getting it. All right, let's just keep moving on. Next is Express It Blending Card Stock. That is, I can't get that off of there. One handed. Let's see if you can pull that off. Thanks. Express It um, Card Stock. So, this is great for your alcohol markers. And oh my gosh, if you saw my post earlier today, um, so Express It is the company that used to import in Copic markers. And now they don't anymore. I don't know what happened there, but yeah. Um, so they are no longer the importers of Copic anymore. Since then, they have come out with their own line of markers called Olo. And I'm sure that some of you have heard talk about these Olo markers. You've been seeing some stuff with the Olo markers. My rep sent me one. I played around with it, and I do like them. Now, they've got some pros and cons compared to Copics, um, but I know that, I mean, they're kind of hitting the market by storm. So we ordered the Olo display today. So that should be here in a couple weeks. So that's super exciting. All right, Emily saved the day here. So look how pretty this is. So it's suede and then it's almost, and then it's got some debossing here. And then we open it up. It's got a pin holder and it's got dots in it. Oh, I love, I love dots because it's not lined then. So I can do some fun stuff. Um, but yet it still kind of keeps me in a line so I don't start riding downhill. And it's got a nice little strap to keep it closed too. So that came in as well. Uh, let's see, Versafine Claire in the Nocturne. So your super dark black one. I know somebody was asking if we could get those in. Those are now in stock. Got those in. This one here is a non-stick craft mat. So whenever you are working and doing cards, blending techniques, mixed media, backgrounds, things like that, it is nice to have a non-stick work surface. I'm going to get this guy out and show you. Maybe. You're like, Emily, help. Oh, oh, this is nice and thick. So at first when I rolled it out, I'm thinking, oh, it reminds me of, um, of the Ranger one. No, it doesn't. This guy, that is nice and thick. So the Ranger one is really kind of thin, and you got to watch, and it kind of crinkles over time. This one's a really thicker one. Um, so it's heat resistant, too, so you can actually do um, embossing on here. Use your heat gun on here. Nice and slick. I do like that as well, too. And you know what I really love about it? The price point. It's 13 bucks. So it in size is 15 by 18. So you could fit your 12 by 12 on there as well. So it's going to be really nice, you know, to cover your work surface, but not too super big to where you got to move everything out of the way for it whenever you're crafting. Because if you're like me and you're a messy crafter, you kind of have to, you know, take your arms and just push everything to the side to make some room. So there's that one there. Restock in our new Prima section line where we've got the um, Aquarelle Dreams. We got back in. You want the work mat? You got it, Miss Debbie. We'll pull that to the side. We got back in stock the little acetate butterflies and dragonflies. They're so beautiful. I mean, they will match other things too. Like they kind of even um, remind me of a Viking line that 49 and Market did. And I'm sure that those colors will work with that line as well. All right, Debbie, I've got that to the side for you, too. All right, next up, these are great little 8.5 by 11 storage little um, bags, I guess you would say. This is what I put the 49 and Market kits into. It will hold your mini books beautifully because it is nice and deep. Miss Rhonda, I saw your comment. Yes, you certainly can get that. We will add that to your pile. Uh -oh, it's got Velcro. I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, so you can see how nice and wide that guy is. And it closes up nicely. Love those. Okay. Snap album, one more here. This one is in blush. I know I showed you some the other day, and I'm just going to pan the little camera over there. Look how much better that section looks. 
looks so much better. So on the top, you can see the, all the new limited edition colors there, um, the middle row, so top one, I think that looks huge because I zoomed you in. Um, so you got a navy and then some of the new colors. And then on the bottom, we've got red, yellow, new color, black, green. And now we're gonna be adding the blush to it too. All right, Audrey, you got it. Pulling two acetates now to the side. One for you, one for Rhonda. Oh, told you, friends, this is a tough one. So, so far, what has come back in? Yesterday, we did the washi tape for this line. Today, I got in six by eight pads for this line, which we were completely out of on the shelf. So, six by eight pads are back in for the Vintage Life in Bloom. Collector's Essentials Kits. I don't think this one is spoken for. I'm pretty sure that all the pre-order ones, um, we've got those out the door. Let me tell you a little bit about this though that makes this kind of special. So if you have not picked up this line and you're considering it, go with this one because these floral bits and pieces are gone. You can't get them. They, they're, they're gone. That's one of those I don't think I'm going to be able to get back in stock. And this is the only way you're going to be able to get them. I did just check the other day on Simple Stories site, the 12 by 12 stickers are gone, okay? They're completely gone as well. So I do have some coming though. I was able to get a reorder in, they're just not in yet, but I won't after the fact, they're all gonna be gone. Then it also has the chipboard in there and then also the page pieces. Both of those I don't think are um, in any kind of scarcity, but this line is going quick, but yes, these when I saw it I was just like oh well I was like well maybe if I have to I might bust those apart just so I can get the floral bits but if you've not ordered this line yet and you love the line I would go ahead and pick up the collector's essentials so you can get those floral bits and pieces that no one else can get next up we got to support the line we've got the basics paper back in stock so remember these are so pretty because it's got a very subtle print to it you kind of see that without the glare. There we go. Um, my story card kits are here. I know some of you have already asked for them. And so we will get yours pulled and I have more coming. So we've got another order out that has more of these. But this is going to go take the collection kit. Monica, I'm assuming you are talking about the collector's essentials kit. Because that's the only one that I that I did. So just making, making sure. And then question for you would be... Um, if you want the basics or not, because some of these colors are kind of hard to match, so that would give you some nice solids to go with it too. Okay, so I got that as a yes on the collector's essentials, and then just let me know on the solids. I'm gonna pull that to the side for you. All right, and then again, the My Stories um, card kits. These are gonna make eight different cards. Oh, Monica, I see it. Perfect. I will get you the solids. Thank you, my dear. Again, I know some of you have these already as on your want list, and so we will get yours pulled, and I do have more coming. So go ahead and comment now if you would like some of the card kits, and I will get you on the list for the next ones when they come in. And then matching those little acetate dragonflies this is the line um, and we do have the other papers in as well we had just sold out of this one already so this one is timeless tales it's got this really pretty wreath on one side and then oh no wonder we ran out of this one already look at the back that's your cut aparts how beautiful those what if i fall oh but darling what if you fly the earth has music for those who listen your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. Let your dreams blossom. Let your spirit soar, bloom, and blossom. A dream, that's what she was. A dreamer, that's what she was. You were always meant to fly. You were made to bloom. Very beautiful. So these make perfect, even just little inspirational cards. How quick and easy are those right there? So pretty. So. Whew. All right, Debbie, got your card kit. I think, like I said, you'll be on the next list if I didn't already have you down. Um, so I think those are spoken for, but perfect. I mean, I, that way we know, and I can always bump up future orders too to get in more. That totally helps me. So, all right, everybody. Wow.
So we did Scrapbook Customs paper. Again, I will show you the stickers and embellishments and all that fun stuff tomorrow. Um, but great papers from that company today. This one is an order that takes us forever because I always order new stuff, so much new stuff in it. Um, so we've got to set up every single product and skew. So it takes a while. And then we've got our lawn fawn restock with new lawn fawn being shown tomorrow. Creative scrapbooker came in today. And then a few fun little things. This was a really small reorder from the distributor because I did it so quick. I'm just trying to, like as soon as I hit my minimum for shipping, I ordered with this Vintage Life stuff. As soon as I had enough there that I could order, I hit send so I could at least try and get it um, before the inventory was gone. So, all right, everybody. Woo! Okay, Dottie, I don't know if that was short and sweet, but I really tried. And I talked really fast. So hopefully when you catch me on the replay, um, I'm not too long. I don't take up too, too much time. But yeah. So, all right, everybody. Woo! All right. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. I love that you guys shop for me. And I love that, you know, you guys love the lives. Um, I, by in no way when I said that about the lives that I plan on getting rid of the lives. Because this is kind of like getting to hang out with you guys a little bit every day. Um, and you can ask questions and I can go through stuff. Um, it's kind of like when I was, you know, we had more classes going on in the store um, and teaching. I could show you guys and, you know, explain the product. And so this is just, it's fun. So I still get to do that. And I don't have to be here till 9 o'clock at night. Love that part. Um, so I can do all this and, you know, still be out the door by 5.30 or so, which which makes it really nice so I can get home and cook dinner yet. So, whew. anybody have any questions for me before I tell you goodbye? I know it's a little bit of time lag, so I'll give it a second here. I won't just be like, oh, nobody had questions. See you later. Peace out. <coughs> Plus, I'm so darn cute. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you butter me up enough. I, I tell you what, you were like, yeah, we just became best friends. We really did. So, <laughs> Diane, she's she's pretty awesome. She um, doesn't even live around here, and it's so fun. She'll bring her friends in. She does have a friend in the area, um, which makes it awesome. It gives her a good excuse to come to Jasper a little bit more than to. And one of these days, maybe we'll get you girls to one of the retreats. And then you can hang out with us there. So, all right. Well, I think we're I think we're good. So again, I gave you some updates in the beginning. Retreat is open. Get your cards in for the card swap. Um, the new Ovo markers, those will be coming soon. So just know if you're wanting to know more about those, I will go through all that one day. Um, if you're thinking about them, just know I'm getting them. So wait, wait for me, please. Um, I will get them in. Um, the price point is a little less expensive than what Copics are. Um, so there, there's, like I said, there's pros and cons, and I'm going to give you both sides. Um, I'm not going to whine and just dine you on them, and you know, I'm going to tell you what, what I feel are pros and cons for them, as well as the Copics. There's pros and cons to those as well, too. But um, I have used a lot of other alcohol ink markers over the years, thrown a ton away um, because they're just not decent, and I don't want to bring in I don't want to bring in cheap product. So there is a difference between cheap and less expensive, okay? So the Olos are less expensive. They're not cheap. And we're going to talk about that as well, too. So, whew. all right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for popping in and hanging out with me for a little bit. And then I will see you tomorrow, hopefully around 4-ish again. I know it was a little late today, um, but I had new stuff. I had to receive those orders um, so I can show you that stuff. So until next time, I'm Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. And you can always look us up online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Um, and if you were ever passing through Southern Indiana, stop in and see me. Actually, okay, I got the best compliment today. I just had a gal call from Louisville today. And they were going to go up to Indy. I guess there is a, a show up in Indy this coming week. It's one of the shows that I used to do. Um, but I just, I don't, I don't have it in me, um, to load up the trailer and unbox everything. It's a lot of work. I, I don't have the labor to do that either. Um, I mean, I could get the store covered, but finding someone to go with you and load a trailer, unload the trailer, set up fixtures, spend a whole day, you know, setting up, um, working for cheap, you, you know, doing it, 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 that's, that's a lot. The Danville show. Yes. Thank you. Um, so she told me 
that instead of going to the Danville show, they're just going to come see me. Because she said, I, I figure you probably have just about everybody we want to see up there anyway. I was just like, oh my gosh, yes. Because I, I was just like, oh my gosh, yes, yeah, stop in and see me on your way up to that indie show. I was like, I'm going to be just right on your way. I said, yeah, you can go up 65, but if you just come over and go up this way, you, you, can, you can come see me. She's like, oh no, we're just going to come see you instead. So I'm so excited. Now, at the same time, I'm a little nervous because we had the retreat last weekend, and so we are a little low on some things that I've been ordering you know, as quick as I can to stock back up um, from the retreat because I've got new stuff coming in. So it was great. They wiped me out of some lines um, that needed to go anyway. So it's, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's hard to say goodbye, but they needed to leave for some of the new stuff that is coming. So I have room for it. But I was just like, that just, that kind of warmed my heart a little bit that they're not even going to do the show. They're just going to come see me. So whew, I'm going to be on my A game on Saturday and hopefully bring it. So I may even have to do like a little make and take just for them, just as a, you know, hey, thank you so much. So maybe we'll do that. All right. Whew. Okay, friends, until next time, I will talk to you later and you guys have an amazing evening. All right. See you, friends. Bye.